new from the previous where we have seen the first order linear non-homogeneous recurrence relation with constant coefficients where previously we have seen Cn, C1 is equal to minus 1. Now we will see the second case where C1 is not equal to minus 1. So in this case we are going to use a procedure and uh, that method is called as the undetermined method of undetermined coefficients. Here the general solution is the sum of homogeneous solution and a particular solution. So homogeneous solution is obtained by equating f of n to 0 and a particular solution depends on the form of f of n and there are two cases. First case where f of n and homogeneous solutions are independent. So we will see what are the meaning of independent and with an example and a second case where if f of n and homogeneous solutions are not independent. So here when it is not independent they are same form and when they are independent they are different form. We will see what are these independent different form and same form in the next example. So first case where f of n and homogeneous solutions are independent that is different form. So what is this different form? We will see with an example. So here suppose the question is solve a n minus 3 a n minus 1 is equal to 5 into 7 raised to n where n is greater than or equal to 1 and a0 equals to 2. Here it is first order non-homogeneous with f of n equals to 5 into 7 raised to n. So we know that it is a non-homogeneous and c1 is not equal to minus 1. So it belongs to the second case where c1 is not equal to minus 1 and therefore the solution is general solution is the sum of homogeneous solution and a particular solution. So let us call this as equation 1 and now how do I find the homogeneous solution is by equating a n minus 3 a n minus 1 equal to 0 that is by equating your f of n as 0 I will be getting the homogeneous solution and we know that the solution of this uh, homogeneous solution is a n is equal to some constant a into 3 raised to n. So where a is some constant which we have to find at the end. Now to find the particular solution here, so you can observe here your particular solution, how does it we say it is a independent here is. So you can see that your homogeneous solution is 3 raised to n and a particular solution is 7 raised to n. So both the 7 and 3 are different that is why we write it as different form. So both are different. So therefore we say that f of n and homogeneous solution are independent. So a n of p is of the form some constant b into 7 raised to n. What is the 7 raised to n? So this is my 7 raised to n which is in the f of n form. So some b into 7 raised to n. So by substituting this particular solution a n of p in the given recurrence relation. So what I get is a n is equal to b into 7 raised to n minus 3 into a n minus 1 is obtained by substituting b in uh, n is equal to n minus 1 in this equation. So which will be b into 7 raised to n minus 1 is equal to f of n which is 5 into 7 raised to n. So now you can observe here the common factor is 7 raised to n minus 1. So by dividing the whole equation by 7 raised to n, I will be getting here you are left out with 7. So 7b minus, so this will be cancelled. So you will be left out with minus 3b is equal to 7 into 5. So you will be um, dividing by 7 raised to n minus 1. So you will be left out with 7 multiplied by 5. So which implies 4b is equal to 35. So b will be 35 divided by 4. Therefore, my particular solution will be by substituting b value, I will be getting 35 divided by 4 into 7 raised to n. So, we have a homogeneous solution and a particular solution. Now, substituting this homogeneous solution and particular solution in equation 1, we will get a n equals to a into 3 raised to n plus 35 by 4 into 7 raised to n. This is my homogeneous solution. This is my particular solution. So, since the initial value given is a0, so I will be substitute n equal to 0 in this above equation, I will be getting a0 equals to a plus 5 by 4 which implies 
because a0 value is 2, I will be replacing by 2 and a plus 35 by 4. Because I will be substituting n equals to 0, this 7 raised to 0 will be equal to 1. So, which implies a will be 2 minus 35 by 4, which is minus 27 by 4. So, therefore, my a n will be a n. This is my a n is equal to a into a is nothing but minus 25, 27 by 4 into 3 raised to n plus 35 by 4 into 7 raised to n. If I simplify this, this uh, 35, if I write it as uh, 7 into 5, I will be getting and this also if I substitute uh, 7, uh, replace 30, 27 by 3 raised to 3, I will be getting minus 1 by 4 into 3 raised to n plus 3 plus 5 by 4 into 7 raised to n plus 4 n plus 1 where n is greater than or equal to 0. So, this is the final solution. So, you can verify if you substitute n equal to 0. So, you should get the initial value which is 2. So, in this equation if you substitute n is equal to 0, you can verify that you will be getting the value which is initial value of a0 equals to 2. So, you can verify that. Next example. Here, here the question is write the recurrence relation for towers of Hanoi and solve it. So, we know that the recurrence relation for the towers of Hanoi is a n equals to 2 a n minus 1 plus 1. That is we know that in the towers of Hanoi you have 3 pegs. So, you want to transfer these n number of pegs from source to the destination and the condition also you might be knowing it. So, I will just tell orally that you want to transfer these n number of pegs from source to the destination using <coughs> the temporary pole here. So, here the recurrence relation for transferring n number of pegs from source to destination is a n equals to 2 a n minus 1 plus 1. So, where n is greater than or equal to 1 and uh, when there are no pegs, the number of uh, moves required will be 0. So, again here you can observe it is a first order non-homogeneous because here function f of n is not equal to 0. And it is first order because a n depends only on its previous a n minus 1 term. So, here f of n is equal to 1 which is nothing but 1 raised to n. So, since it is a homogeneous uh, non-homogeneous first order linear recurrence relation with constant coefficients. So, the general solution is the sum of homogeneous solution and the particular solution. And uh, to find homogeneous solution, I equate this f of n to 0. So, I will be getting a n minus 2 a n minus 1 equal to 0 and here d is nothing but 2. So, homogeneous solution is equal to a into d raise to n. d is nothing but 2 here. Therefore, a into 2 raise to n. Now, to find the particular solution. Now, again you can observe 2 raise to n and 1 raise to n. They are different. So, they are independent. So, your uh, particular solution will be of the form b into 1 raise to n or which is equal to b. By substituting the in the given recurrence relation, I will get b minus 2b is equal to 1. So, that is nothing but minus b is equal to 1, b is equal to minus 1. Therefore, a n of p that is particular solution will be b is the minus 1 into 1 raise to n. So, I have the particular solution and homogeneous solution by substituting them in the first equation. So, I will be getting <coughs> a n equals to a into 2 raise to n which is nothing but this is the homogeneous solution plus minus 1 into 1 raise to n. So, by substituting n equal to 0 in equation 2, I will be getting a 0 equals to a minus 1 which is nothing but a 0 is 0. So, which is equal to a minus 1 therefore, a is equal to 1. So, your a n that is the general solution will be 2 raise to n minus 1 raise to n which implies a n is equal to 2 raise to n minus 1 n greater than or equal to 0. So, third example solve a n 
plus 1 minus 2 a n is equal to 5 n greater than or equal to 0 a 0 equals to 1 again here f of n is equal to 1 into 5 into 1 raised to n so it is a non-homogeneous and it is uh, non-homogeneous and first order so the general solution will be a n equals to a n raised to h plus a n uh, of p homogeneous solution plus particular solution so again homogeneous solution will be obtained by equating your f of n to 0 so your a n of h is equal to a into 2 raised to n now the particular solution again f of n and a n of h are independent because here your homogeneous solution is 2 raised to n and a particular solution is 1 raised to n so they are independent therefore your particular solution is of the form b into 1 raised to n so by substituting a, a n of p into the given recurrence relation i will get b minus 2 b is equal to 5 into 1 raised to n so that is p minus 2 b equals to 5 which implies b is equal to minus 5 therefore particular solution will be minus 5 into 1 raised to n which is nothing but minus 5 so by substituting homogeneous solution and particular solution in equation 1 i will be getting a n equals to a into 2 raised to n minus 5 and since the a 0 value is given so by substituting n equal to 0 in equation 1 i will be getting a 0 equals to a minus 5 implies 1 equals to a minus 5 which implies a is equal to 6 therefore a n will be equal to 6 into 2 raised to n minus 5 which implies a n is equal to 3 into 2 raised to n plus 1 because 6 i can write it as 3 into 2 so that 2 i can write it as 2 raised to n plus 1 minus 5 with n greater than or equal to 0 thank you